Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since the reform and opening up, China has always relied on Europe and the United States in the field of chips. Whether it is chip design, manufacturing, or packaging, China is lacking to a certain extent. Even in the past three years, China has made major breakthroughs in the field of chips, but there is still no way to compare with the chip technology of the United States, not only that, especially recently news has spread that the United States has also made a major breakthrough in the field of chips, and this breakthrough is the technology of making chips through two-dimensional materials, and it is precisely because of this. Many self-media feel that Chinese chips are about to face a huge challenge. First, let us understand the so-called two-dimensional materials. Two-dimensional materials are composed of a single layer or a few layers of atoms or molecules. The layers are connected by strong covalent bonds or ionic bonds and the layers are connected by force. The combination of weak van, the wall's force and the unique 2D structure also means that more transistors can be accommodated. China knows that the more transistors, the stronger the performance, and more importantly, precisely because of the use of two-dimensional materials, therefore, the size of the chip will become smaller and thinner, and this technology is the new atomic level chip technology in the United States, which is very likely to overturn the entire industry. Secondly, many netizens feel that Chinese chips are about to face a huge challenge. Why do they say that? Because China's technology in the field of chips is not as good as that of the United States, and it is precisely because of this that the United States has been stuck in China's neck and China cannot develop better. Now the United States has broken through core key technologies, which also means that China is likely to be in the future, the United States will definitely find a way to prevent the export of related technologies, because this is the core technology for them to maintain their leading edge, and it is also the technology they rely on to obtain more benefits from the market so they are bound to it will not be provided for use in China. In this regard, I just want to say that the multi-party alliance formed by the United States is just a superficial article. For example, although Japan has a large amount of raw materials and the Netherlands has the core technology of lithography machines, China has corresponding technologies to replace them. For example, semiconductor materials, China has graphene materials that are more suitable for semiconductors. China has also made the latest breakthroughs in the field of lithography machines. So they are not afraid of foreign technology getting stuck. It can even be said that they want to prevent the development of Chinese chips, which is basically a daydream. But when the United States developed the so-called atomic-level chip technology, it made it more likely that China would be stuck in the neck. So the question is, does China have the corresponding technology to compete with it? Now that the world is blowing up the atomic-level technology of the United States, can China still be compared with the United States in the field of chips? In fact, what they don't know is that China has already successfully realized chip technology made of two-dimensional materials like the United States. However, many self-media have been advocating that American technology is better, and Chinese chips are about to face a huge challenge. The real situation is that China not only has the corresponding technology, but its technology is even higher than that of the United States. Why do you say that? Read on to find out. First of all, 
China is the first to implement the technical solution for building chips through two-dimensional materials. At the beginning, TSMC and MIT cooperated to develop a two-dimensional material and found that the semiconductor two-dimensional material developed through bismuth resources can successfully create one nanometer chips. Chip products below the manufacturing process and this two-dimensional layered material, the so-called bismuth selenide, has remarkable thermoelectric and photoelectric properties, especially good biological activity and biocompatibility, which has attracted widespread attention from scientists. Attention and great interest, that is to say, China already had the corresponding technology as early as last year. However, the United States only revealed this good news this year. In fact, it is China's research on the chip field that is more in-depth. Secondly, judging from the performance of the chip, the so-called atomic-level chip technology in the United States can break the physical limit and successfully increase the performance of the chip by several times, even dozens of times but they ignore that China also has a technology, and this this technology is the so-called quantum chip technology. This technology does not simply achieve performance growth, but has risen to another new dimension. For example, traditional electronic chip technology uses the switch of transistor 0 and 1 to make the chip work normally. However, Quantum chip technology can calculate through the method of zero and one at the same time, and can also be calculated through the superposition state of zero and one, so that the performance of the chip can increase exponentially. In theory, it can reach thousands of times, or even tens of thousands. Double the effect. I have to say that academician N.I. Guangnan is right. Only by mastering the core technology in his own hands can he have a certain voice in the industry. The United States has made a breakthrough in the field of chip technology, which has caused huge repercussions internationally. Isn't this the core technology? Does it work? In fact, China's technical strength in the field of chips is not weak at all. On the contrary, it may be stronger than the United States. However, some technologies are not very mature, and some basic research is still in the theoretical stage. So there is no it is necessary to publicize how powerful we are. I believe that as long as China truly succeeds in achieving technological breakthroughs and truly masters its own core technology, it will naturally usher in extensive reports at home and abroad. In a word, although the United States has made major breakthroughs in the chip field, China already has the corresponding technology to replace it. So it is no big deal. It is hard to say who will be stronger in the chip field in the future. It may be China. It may also be the United States, but no matter who it is, they hope to fully recognize the facts, because history has proved that only fair and just competition and peaceful and stable development can bring human science and technology to a new level. What do you think?